Leaks, leaks, and more leaks, my friends. We're getting more leaks for the Nintendo Switch 2. I feel like it's all we're talking about nowadays, but it's it's fine. I, I enjoy discussing this, kind of speculating, um, thinking about the potentiality of what the Nintendo Switch 2 is going to be, or whatever it's going to be called, and uh, all the good stuff. Yesterday, at the time of recording this, uh, we actually spoke about another leak coming from an accessory um, manufacturer. And this one had some credibility credibility uh, to it, and uh, basically it was said that they were able to touch the Nintendo Switch 2, but not able to see it. Like, Nintendo allowed them to put their hands into a box, kind of feel the dimensions of it or whatever. I don't know. Um, there were some other things we talked about in that uh, video. If you guys want to see the whole video, I'll try to remember the link down in the description below, uh, just so you can, you know, catch up on, on, on that rumor. But we're talking about a different leak uh, in this one. And at first, it's going to seem to contradict the one from yesterday. But I have, I have, I have a, um, I guess, a theory, an idea of how they can kind of go together. So let, let's talk about that here in this video. Again, if you do enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more and uh, all the good stuff. We do a variety of Nintendo-based content here on the channel. It's always, uh, it's always a lot of fun, man. I'm, I'm a huge Nintendo fan, and I'm sure you are too if you're here. At least somewhat of a fan. Uh, so this one is coming from. Mobapad, which is a Nintendo Switch accessory manufacturer, uh, and they've published details regarding the Nintendo Switch 2 on their uh, Billy Billy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what Billy Billy is, but on their Billy Billy page, um, nothing obviously, you know, should be taken as official because Nintendo hasn't announced it. It should be taken with a grain of salt, uh, nonetheless, because it's still, you know, rumors and it's just speculation and leaks and all that stuff. But some of these rumors and leaks are kind of coinciding with other ones that we've been talking about in the past. Uh, and so it's just inter interesting um, because, again, it seems like there is some some reliability and credibility, at least, to, you know, to some of these that they're kind of different sources, you know, uh, corroborating, I guess, uh, together. No, is that the right word? I don't know if I'm using that word correctly. Anyways, this is coming from Reset Era, uh, and we have multiple points. It, it was, it was, it was nicely outlined by MyNintendoNews.com, uh, so that's where I'm reading it from. Uh, they have kind of bullet points and six, and six points. So let's read them. Number one, the Bluetooth chip of Nintendo, of Switch 2 still supports existing Joy-Con and Pro controllers and still features HD vibration, uh, ALPS, dual axis linear motor. Um, <clears throat> real quick about that one. Well, we'll come back to that. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Switch 2 has backwards compatibility with Switch 1 cartridges, but Switch 2 cartridges will be different and will not fit the Switch 1. This sounds like things we've been hearing uh, as well, and it kind of goes with what we've seen in the past with the 3DS and the DS. This was exactly like that. DS games fit in the 3DS, with 3DS not in the 2DS, or the normal DS, excuse me. Um, number three, the new Joy-Cons are larger and are magnetically attached to the console uh, with an ele electro uh, excuse me, electromagnet. Um, and again, this is interesting because this is what the rumor yesterday said from a different source. The SL and SR buttons are metallic now, and there's a new button behind each Joy-Con location, basically where the uh, where where the the button is, and a new button below the home button on the right Joy-Con. Um, so basically, the the first button is the one where the release button is, uh, basically, essentially. Um, and the other one, again, it's you know uh, right below where the home button is on on the right Joy-Con. So there's kind of like an extra little tiny button underneath that. If you look at the home button on your on your Joy-Con, um, the dock still has USB-C port. Um, and it will support 4K image output. Again, this has been something we've been hearing for many years now. We thought it was going to be a Switch Pro, and I talked about this a long time ago. I mean, a long time ago, towards the beginning, almost, the first couple of years after Switch came out, I made a video on it. A lot of people were doubting it. They're like, oh, how, how, it doesn't make any sense. I said, you know, they can come out with a new dock. It's going to have 4K output. And it didn't make a lot of sense to people, but I don't know. Apparently, according to this rumor, this is what the new Nintendo Switch or whatever the, you know, second, whatever this console is going to be, is going to be okay, going to be uh, capable of. Number five, the new kickstand also has uh, a dampening bracket on the back for improved angle adjustment. And then finally, number six, the screen is bigger, which we've heard up to eight inches and the resolution is upgraded 1080p, which again, it's all coinciding with other rumors that we've heard previously. Now, in terms of point one, you you might think point one and point three are contradictory, right? The you know how how the Switch Two uh, supports existing Joy Con, but yet the Joy Cons are magnetic, so they're not going to be attached the same way. So that means the current Joy Cons would not be able to um, be attached to the new Switch. And that was what we were reading yes in yesterday's uh, leak from a different source. 
is that, you know, the ma they were saying the Joy-Cons are not going to be supported, but I was suggesting they are going to be supported, but not in the sense that you can connect them, uh, snap them on to the, to the dock, uh, sorry, not to the dock, to the actual, uh, uh, you know, uh, console, the way you can with the current Switch, um, because there's no rail system, it's magnetic, right? But I was suggesting that if the Pro Controller is going to be compatible, well then, the Joy-Cons too, right? I mean... If the, if, it's, if, the, if the Pro Controller is compatible, it's compatible over Bluetooth, and so the Joy-Cons assumingly would be as well. And this is what this report is saying in, in point number three, uh, sorry, point number one, is that they're going to be um, compatible over the Bluetooth chip, right? Because the Bluetooth chip of the Switch 2 still supports these uh, controllers over wireless. You're just not going to be able to use the Joy-Cons attached to the new console, right? Uh, and it's interesting that uh, that it, it's, it's going to be attached with a magnet, uh, an electromagnet, um, and, and just a quick definition, you know, kind of pulling it up quick for you guys. An electromagnet, uh, electromagnet is basically a type of magnet in which the magnetic field is produced by an electric current, which is very interesting to say the very least. So, um, it's, it's, it's electrically magnetic, essentially, right? So, um, it makes a little bit more, more sense, I guess, in that, in that, uh, uh, in that way, so I, I mean that's that, that's that's interesting technology to implement in in the in the console if, if that's true. So I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, I'm I'm enjoying kind of talking about these things. Uh, you know, they're all they're all if we add everything up together, um, they're all basically saying very similar things. And I would be very surprised if this if the this next you know console is anything drastically different than what we've been hearing about but again i have to say take it with a grain of salt because we never know we never know if it's if it's actually going to be legitimate or not because you know uh at the end of the day uh you know these things are um rumors and leaks and you know it might not be it might not hold a lot of water uh and th things are subject to change as well so whenever nintendo announces something hopefully soon i'll let you guys know i'm very excited i'm sure you guys are too at this point and uh yeah let me know what you think in the comments below if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe for more and until the next one game on we'll see you guys soon